Hi, I'm Aldin Lim of Ahon and Dance Bikes. I just recently finished the Silk Road Mountain Race in uh, Kyrgyzstan. It's a 1,900 unsupported single stage mountain bike pack, bike packing race. It's known as the hardest and most difficult bike packing mountain bike race in the world. So, first of all, I would like to thank you to all the people who supported us, supported me, uh, who sent their good luck and uh, who prayed for our safety uh, during the race. Thank you so much. Though I have not read all of your comments, I truly appreciate it. I only read some of it, but uh, it helped me uh, motivate during those very dark moments in the race. Uh, where I need to uh, gather more inner strength and to just to finish the race. And then, uh, this is my bike setup during the Circle uh, Mountain Race 2022. So my bike is a Trek Pro Caliber hardtail, size small. So uh, in front is a Lao Fork. Lao Fork, it has a 60mm compliance. The good thing about this frame, it has ISO speed, so there's a 10mm compliance too. I made sure that the all the contact points in the bike are comfortable. So this seat is a, a specialized Mimic Pro, which is a very good saddle for me. It's a short saddle, good for endurance rides. It has a narrow nose, so your uh, thighs won't won't I know won't uh, rub and won't give you any chafing. So it's a really good saddle. Uh, I chose an ESI silicone grips with uh, cane creek bar ends. So you can have different hand positions. And we have a bar yak, uh, bar yak system, cargo system. So I can put a front mounted harness with pack in the front and during those long roads, uh, long stretch, flat roads, or sometimes downhill, I could stretch my back and do an aero position like this. So I can do an aero position. Uh, I run a SRAM mechanical drivetrain with rotor capping cranks. So this is a 30 in the front and 1052 at the back. I chose mechanical para so there would be no issues. I chose uh, carbon rims and Vittoria Mescal tires front and rear 2.25. As to my uh, lighting and navigation system, uh, I run a Sun Dynamo hub laced in aero DT Swiss Air Light spokes and uh, uh, carbon wheels. Uh, it was uh, built by Wheels Profile. Then from the Dynamo Hub, I have a USB charger. So USB charger from K Light, full system. So K Light, this is a uh, from from the Dynamo. It gives me light, 1,200 lumens. Na light then my my rear blinkers which is mandatory also from k light i run a, a k light uh, rear light and for navigation i used to have a gps computer a brighton s800 computer but it broke down so i don't recommend it i won't recommend it so go with the trusted brands, Garmin or Wahoo uh, or Hammerhead, but not the China cheap ones, please. Navigation is very important. So almost half of the race, we used the uh, Komoot app in my phone. So I used the USB charger to charge my phone, uh, charge a power bank. Uh, 7,400 power bank and whenever we're in a guest house or a checkpoint I charge it but I lost the adapter so I cannot charge it 
Then uh, for my backup uh, backup light is a Petzl Zipka. And the best thing is uh, this, this my helmet light. It's a Phoenix LD30. So the good thing it's a 3,500 mAh battery. So the whole 12 days I didn't have to change any batteries. So I just turned this on when I had to push in the dark. Na very very slow yung progress. Na hindi na gumagana. The dynamo light is not working anymore because uh, you need to reach a certain speed for the dynamo light to 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 ano, to put on light. So whenever there's no light or if you're looking into other directions, uh, you can use this. The Phoenix LD30. Actually, this is a very, very good helmet light. I would recommend this. So, for my bike bags, uh, majority of my bike bags were made by Mac of 4405 here in the Philippines. So, this was made by Mac. This was made by Mac. Some modifications were made by made. This is made by Revelate Designs, but he has to modify it. This was made by Rock Guys. And he has to modify mm -hmm. it. This one, the, the rock is from Tailfin, carbon rock from Tailfin, it's very light. But this bag was made by Mac of 4405, including all of our stuff sacks and little bags for our little things. Okay, so I have several bags. This one is a front mounted bag. This is where I keep all my uh, change of clothes, change of clothes and uh, layers waterproof jacket uh, the feed bag the two bead bags I put my uh, this one uh, I put my uh, Katadyne B3 uh, water filter because all of our water came from the streams in the uh, Kyrgyz water stream so just to make sure uh, we have to filter it to avoid gastrointestinal issues this one I had to put all my uh, electronic stuff or sometimes some food I have here of course this is very important chapstick because it's very cold and very dry so even up to now I still have uh, dry chafed lips and burnt lips so it's very useful also as mandatory gear you have to bring an enrich mini this is how you track us in the map, map progress it's an enrich mini too it's a GPS messenger. You can send messages and your family and friends and relatives and the organizers can track you. So I set it at 30 minute interval pings. That's why you could see you could see updates. Uh, this is a feed bag. So most of my food are what is available in the local store. So I still have some Snickers, Bounty. Uh, I still have uh, gels, uh, never second gels. So anything that I can you know, uh, buy. My frame bag is a custom uh, Dyneema composite fabric uh, frame bag. So inside is, uh, of course, some tubes, some tubes, and uh, tubes, and uh, this is the pump that I used. Uh, I brought a lot of zip ties because zip ties is very essential oh. uh, some bags from Mac this is my toolkit so these are my uh, the bike tools that I and bike spares that we brought uh, each of us has to bring all of this uh, for the purpose of repairing troubleshooting some problems with the bike so of course we have to bring uh, I brought this toothbrush from the airplane just to clean the drivetrain or anything that needs cleaning. Zip ties, they're very important because sometimes, for example, uh, these uh, water bottles or something might break. We need zip ties. Uh, Leatherman, uh, very small uh, pliers, really helps. Uh, especially, I broke the the knife part because I had to use it in the wheel uh, extra battery 
for my uh, extra battery for my headlamp uh, wolf tooth na multi tool okay uh, this is very important to uh, our lube you have to take care of your drive train especially your chain so you have to lube and relube it every time that there's a river crossing it's my wallet which uh, is inside my ID and some cash this is very important too this is the brevet card so every you have to bring this make sure that it doesn't get wet because every time you go to a checkpoint they need to stamp it you need to verify that you got into the checkpoint they put in your the stamp in that time for taking the checkpoint I brought extra ziplock bags uh, to when you need to carry some food, crackers, uh, fruits, etc. Uh, extra dining bag for the nutrition. Uh, pump. I used to pump a lot on my rear wheel when it was destroyed. Uh, extra tubes. Siburito. And this is my toolkit. Uh, of course, my toolkit is another spare for my headlamp tire levers, extra sealant, electrical tape, patch kits for the tubes, chain breaker uh, with a uh, tubeless tire plug. So if you get a puncture which cannot, which the tubeless sealant cannot heal, need this. Uh, extra derailleur hanger. Uh, super glue and duct tape uh, extra brake pads extra cleats extra chain link extra bolts for the bike extra cable extra tubeless star plug that's it for my rep repair tool okay this is my uh, sleeping kit uh, so it's a Dyneema bag made by Mac of 4405 with a tail fin carbon area rock. So this is a pillow. Uh, Neo Air, Thermarest Neo Air pad. Uh, because the ground is very cold, especially 3,000 meters above. So it's very important that you have a pad. So it's very properly. Then this is my, uh, this is my sleeping bag. Uh, which is a Cumulus X Life custom sleeping bag, X Life 200. Uh, it's rated uh, negative ah uh, three to negative one. So it's a very very good uh, and very very light uh, sleeping bag. It's a 900 feel hydrophobic down. So it's a very good sleeping bag. And my sleeping another one is uh, uh, my tent it's a tarp tent notch li it's a dyneema tent it only weighs around 600 grams together with the poles so i have to clean this because it's full of uh it's still moist and full of shit from <laughs> kurgis time so i don't wanna no i have to clean that so that's it, that's my sticky kit for the silk road mountain. So for my hydration system, I use two Zephal 1 liter bottles. So actually it's a bit short because at least you need around 4 to 5 liters. So what I do is every stream that I came into, I always top up the water. But there are instances that I'm short on water. Uh, so I had to bear my thirst and uh, continue on so there's two one liter and if there's a long section that there's no refill there's here's my water filter a one liter cathodyne uh, be free water filtration system so I have to fill this up so I have three liters of water and sometimes uh, I bring with me a bottle of coke or a bottle of juice or a bottle of water at the back of my pocket. 